there are two federations, uh, you know, within within the within India also. You know, for, there are two federations affiliated for the Olympics, and there is one federation which is uh, recognized uh, by the government uh, by the Indian Olympic Association, and another one by the government. Right. Similarly, you know, so so many a times what has happened is I I read somewhere that you know they had uh, they they wanted to hold those selections or the trials, and then it was not accepted acceptable to the Olympic Association. Because it was right. held by another one, which I did not have. So I wanted to bring that out. I mean, that's what I wanted to bring that out. That this is what the sports people in our country go through. Right. You know, there is not a, there is no uniformity as such, and you play politics even in that as well. You know, right. sports is something which should be free of politics, but it is not so. I mean, yeah. if you can improve yeah. upon it, then probably more sports people, if you are able to provide better facilities, more sports people yeah. would be able to come forward. And right. represent the country. Talk of sports. Actually, you know, our parents, uh, because of their, you know, they want the best for their children. And many a time, you, so sports get relegated to a background because they do not consider sports to be a uh, something which can give you the, uh, as in Hindi, you would say, rosy roti. And so that that's why I said that you know, we anything you know, you know, if. Uh, every person, every person needs that uh, encouragement, that nurturing from all quarters, mostly from their own families, uh, for them to be able to attain their dreams, be it in sports or any other field. So that's what I want to highlight through my book. That yes, you know, if you support, if you encourage, don't. End of the day, the parents should be and should be should only be. Some some people, someone who can provide a enabling ecosystem for their children, for whatever they want to do, be it sports, be it engineering, be it uh, anything, media, journalism, anything. So that's what I have wanted to say. And sports generally are relegated. Yes, that's a fact. I mean, end of the day, you are, you know, you, you generally you are forced to be an engineer, as as uh, Rohan said, uh, uh, <laughs> you know, I said accidental engineer. So yes. that should not happen say that gymnastics even now is not such a popular sport in India. Whatever we have been able to achieve in a limited way has been individuals I would say who have been able to perform within the constraints of whatever resources they had. Right. I personally feel that yes there is need for a for an organizational or, or, or an institutional change more of private sector to come up and support these, uh, uh, you know, these gymnasts or the, the talent that we have, create more of academies in India uh, with uh, the required requisite facilities. Because across, uh, you know, in America and all the kind of facilities that are there, as uh, Rohan also mentioned, that the kind of facilities are tremendous. They are, they are huge. So some, somewhere, the, even the private sector, you know, uh, we, we have a tendency to blame government for everything. But uh, yes. you know the government cannot do everything or on its own. It requires people. It requires organizations. So the private sector also needs to come up, and not just in world gymnastics. I would say it, it, it has to be across all sports. Gymnastics is only represented so, because I have spoken about gymnastics, but it has to be across all sports. There is talent available, and this talent needs to be nurtured, and resources have to be provided. Financial resources have to be provided. And that is one of the reasons that why we are not able to do as good as uh, we could have done. Things have improved quite a lot. I would say things have improved. And more and more yeah. Indian gymnasts have come up and come on the world stage also. But they do need that support. Oh, oh, oh.